All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. This is my post-market wrap-up on this Thursday, June 18, 2020. And again, we have things to talk about, as usual. It just doesn't stop. This thing, it's, just, it's a thing with things running it. They're not even people. Okay, we're going to talk more about things in just a little bit. All right, so let's start off with the basics here. Uh, stocks finished higher for the most part. Uh, the Dow put on a fractional loss, the broader index, the S&P 500 put on a gain, and the NASDAQ put on a gain. Um, crude oil, getting a nice bid here. They will not let crude fall. You know that. So I'm going to give you one guess as to what was the best performing sector of the market. Of course, it was energy. <laughs> But you knew that. Anyway, I mean, how many times do I tell you these things? All right, so let's move forward here. Uh, cryptocurrencies uh, under pressure, not much under pressure nonetheless. Uh, gold and silver down. Uh, they suffered losses today. And the 10-year yield is hovering at about 0 0.7. Um, okay, all well and good. Let's move on a little bit. We found out that the Bank of England is going to embark on larger bond buying purchases. Wow, isn't it just fascinating how these central banks are all doing the same thing at the same time? It's kind of amazing if you really think about it. The Federal Reserve or any central bank, what they can create cash out of thin air by an unlimited amount of assets. They can issue loans to whoever they want. Did you know that? If you don't believe me, look it up for yourself. The Federal Reserve can issue loans to anyone it wants to, even terrorists. Does it matter? The Fed is allowed to issue loans in any amount to whoever they want to, with no oversight whatsoever, not just no oversight, you're not even allowed to know about it, okay? This is part of the Fed's balance sheet that you're not supposed to know exists. You know, there are two balance sheets. So let's put this together. So the Federal Reserve, any central bank, they have the ability to create cash out of nothing, to buy assets in unlimited amounts, issue loans to whoever they want to. Uh... How does, how does that work? Uh, it just, it doesn't make any sense to me how they're allowed to do this with no oversight whatsoever. Not only no oversight, but they're being called on to do more. You remember Yellowstein talking to members of Congress and they're like, we'd like you to do more. We need more loans. We need to, you know, make sure everyone is a debt slave and you can own the world. That's your final solution. It's an incredible thing. It's an incredible thing to watch unfold, and it's hideous in my view. Um, so here's here's the deal. We heard from Fed from two Fed presidents today. Fed President Bullard, number one. Bullard is warning that there may be a risk of a depression. Yeah. Maybe a risk of a depression. I'm surprised the market didn't take a big hit off of that stunning admission. But look, what is he really trying to do? He's trying to explain that the Fed is going to keep buying. They're going to keep creating cash out of thin air. They're going to keep buying assets. They're going to continue to issue loans. Um, that, that's it. That's really what he's saying here. Then we had the other Fed president, Meister. That thing, she's another it. You know, Bullard is an it. She's an it. They're all it's. You have to understand, they're not even human beings, okay? She comes out explaining that there's not going to be an economic recovery for about two years. Now, let me explain this to you in case you don't know. They don't give a damn whether it's two years or, or two decades. All the Fed wants to do, all the it's, that are sitting in chairs, uh, and they may look like human beings, but they're not. They're definitely not human, okay? And you, if you think I am joking here, 
You got another thing in common. They're not human. Okay. These things that are running the Federal Reserve here, uh, they don't give a damn that 46 million American citizens are now out of work. These are worse than Great Depression numbers. They don't give a damn about it. They don't care about the economy because they deliberately shut it down via the scandemic. Okay? So they can finish their final solution here. And so few people care. I know you do. But people don't care. This is how they're uh, allowed and able to get away with what they're, they're doing. On an unbelievable scale. Most people have no clue. You should count yourself among a very elite group that's able to see through it, that understands what's happening here around them. It's, it's mind-blowing on, on a scale that it's just difficult for even me to get my head around. And I'm, I'm immersed in this 24 hours a day. Just And then you've got players like Larry Kudlow. you got players like Steve Mnuchin. You know, just... They're right there, helping the Federal Reserve finish what they're doing here. Um, and I'll tell you the truth here. And I know some of you are going to get angry at me for saying this, but I really feel bad for President Trump because he has no choice whatsoever. The man, every president, and I, I believe this. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again right here and now. The day that a new president is elected and then sits in the Oval Office behind the Resolute Desk, that's the moment that this thing run by it is revealed to them. They say, this is how it's going. This is what, how it's going to play out here. I believe that presidents are threatened, all of them. Maybe they're showing the Kennedy assassination repeatedly on, on, on 3D screens around them. I have no idea. But isn't it incredible the way a president from whatever he campaigned on to what they do just changes like it, a, a complete 180? I mean, this is what Donald Trump did, and I'm not putting him down. They all do it. They all do it for the same reason. They all are shown how it works. And the Federal Reserve is the government, not just of the United States, but of the entire world. Why? Because the United States dollar remains the world reserve currency. And the Fed is giving out multiple trillions of dollars. They just create thin air to central banks all over the planet. And what are they doing with those dollars? They're buying assets. Could you imagine if we had a little oversight here? There are, it, this is a crime syndicate. I think you understand that. Central banks around the world, okay, they are a, a crime syndicate of it, of, on a magnitude and scale that is so far beyond, I think, the, the average human's ability to comprehend that they just can't think about it. That's another reason why they're able to get away with what they do, because it's too big. When people are, are, are shown too much light, they become blind by it. You understand? So this is another reason why people, sh they, they, they don't want to be shown the light. They want to be in the dark. It's easier for them to shield themselves in the dark than it is the light. Gaining light in any capacity or enlightenment or whatever it might be is not an easy thing. Um, and it's even talked about in a bad way. Oh no, the, the illuminated ones, the enlightened ones, they're dangerous. You know why? Because they have knowledge and knowledge is power. You and the average pe person out here must be kept in the dark. You understand? That's what this whole thing is. This is how this whole thing runs. This is why people are dumbed down on an unprecedented scale. They can barely walk and chew gum at the same time. That's why they don't understand the financial system at all. Um, it's meant to do this by 
design. All right, now look, with this, I want to give all of you a quick heads up here. Pay attention to the mainstream narrative. It is all fear. Fear, fear, fear. Resurgence of the virus. The virus is coming back to get you. Make sure you wear your mask. It just became mandatory in California to wear masks in public places uh, where social distancing doesn't work. This is going to get worse here. The mark of the new world order, the symbol, is the mask. Remember that. And they're laughing at us, the it's that are running the entire world. And I'm going to say it one more time. They are not human. They're not human. All right, um, look, this guy here loves you a lot. I think this video is important. And, um, you know, hold, hold that thought. I kind of got distracted here. But the fear narrative from the mainstream media has the potential to weigh on this market. You understand? Fear is a powerful driver. Fear takes a person back to their primal state, their primal mental state, and it doesn't allow them to think rationally. Once you make people afraid of something, you can mold them, you can put suggestions into their minds, subliminal ones, through symbols, or whatever else you got to do to control them. That's all this is. And the it's are looking to control the entire world. And they're there already. They're there now and they cannot be stopped. Ask the president because he had a sit down right after he uh, sat behind the desk and he'll tell you. Well, maybe he can't tell you, but he wishes he could tell you. All these presidents wish they could. They can't do it. All right. I'm out of here. Please share the video if you think it's important. Love you a lot. See you in the morning.